guys and welcome to angling for you and today you join me in a wonderful fishing tackle and bait and we have something new for you we have the 2021 map h30 box and this is h for h frame 30 for 30 mil legs and it is a new 2021 as you've just seen the big boy i've uh, just purchased myself this has got some of the very similar features but uniquely got that h frame now these boxes have been meant to come out in March time, so they're just coming out the latter end of the year, ready for those Christmas presents. And this one is a beautiful, beautiful example of a H-frame. Now, 379.99, so it is under, you're paying under the XR comp. Now the, the XR comp is definitely um, a stable box. It's obviously got the 36 mil legs. If that's what you're wanting, then obviously that's you're going to be looking at the th a little bit more money and obviously um, a bigger leg size. If you're wanting something that's light and it can be taken around easy on venues, on naturals, um, he, it's a, still a stable platform on the 30mm legs, then this mat box looks absolutely superb. And I know that the box before it, its predecessor, is just as popular and, and still go demands good money and that's not surprised 379 for it is pretty decent price to be fair um and it, it, it does a lot of the things that most people would want and it's not aimed at probably your match fishing it's got the two side draws and it's probably not aimed at the match fishing crowd um it's more of your pleasure anglers not to say that you can't match fish of course with it um it does come again with one of these nice neoprene tops um neoprene um finished and just a nice seat cover to go on top and um, just stops everything getting uh, mucky or rubbish or dinged around in your car or van so what we'll do is we'll get into close we'll have a I'll have a little to look around the box itself before we get really close with the camera and see what the quits and features are right guys it, it shares a lot of similarities uh, with the big brother Firstly, the difference um, is it's a H-frame. It's obviously black and not blue. Um, the H-frame is the main thing. When you get a H-frame, what that allows you to do is raise it on the legs without having to put additional stackers on to make it higher or lower, um, which helps a taller angler or a shorter angler, depending on um, what height you would like it. Now, the differences with this, apart from the H-frame, is really the fact that most H-frames, if in fact all, do not have a fixed slide out tray at the bottom, as does this. Uh, it's, it's like I was saying, it's more pleasure angler orientated. Now, the XR comp that I had, had an underneath compartment and one deep draw. This has got a shallow draw and a, a deep draw. Now, I'm just gonna try and get the carabiner off because it's difficult to open the drawers when the carabiners are on. But again, we've got that slide out draw and that deep draw and if you saw my other video you can get the inserts that sit inside if you would like it in all different compartments which are around 20 quid for the deep one and about 16 for the for the shallower one uh, which i would recommend personally because i'm just i like everything in in its place the other similarity uh, is the seat again the seat is a lovely gel seat with that slanted forward um, kind of feel on it um, just aids in support of your legs it just feels fantastic the pin system is is very similar as well just two pins to release the catch now if if you don't click them on like that it won't lock in place so you want it to click like that it comes again with an allen key to remove the base if you're wanting to remove it and just use it as a stool this one actually I don't know if it, if I, yeah, it has got the Allen keys, yeah, I can feel it. So you would need to remove that if you want to remove the, the base. Now the, the foot plate is same as the other one, really durable, um, high quality grey plastic, plenty of holes, um, plenty of stability on there. And you know, that, that is what you need when you're, uh, you're fishing a nice stable platform. The, the knobs again are really strong um, grip, the non-marking, they've got a lovely decent knob that you can grab hold of um, and that is going to be fine in the winter and it's got plenty of grip on it and again it's got the lower ones to extend the feet and the other ones are facing forward so they're not out going to catch on to things they're out the way the fit, these ones are faced in these ones are faced out it just helps i'm not catching it on bits and bobs so every leg has also 
got a screw top. So that's really useful if you want wanting attachments and you want to take um, less bits and you want to just screw things directly on, then that's really helpful. Um, the clicking systems um, at the moment have only got the two drawers, so you'll see it's a blank because um, they're drawers, but you, you will be able to buy additional tops for that. And that'll allow you to, if you do want to put rig cassettes and stick them on, then you could do that, no problem whatsoever. So what we'll do is we'll get the camera, we'll come in close and we'll just have a little look at the features right in close. Right guys, so firstly you can see it's, it's a very stable platform in the black. Um, looks really smart. Um, finish off with the blue highlights uh, around the rings of the legs. Just does just, just, just look a really stealthed out but smart box. Just those little accents look great. And the little pole nose bungs, uh, screw, screw blue caps on there would look mega on there. And definitely finish that off. So you can see the platform, like I said before, is a really strong platform. Uh, it's plenty robust and uh, it's got that nice little step lip there um, to just feel nice and just get your, your toes against it. Just feels like super stable. You can see the H30 there on prominent on the front um, and it just tells you exactly what you sat on. And, and again, you can see those really stable legs and, and screws behind there. On top, it's got the nice pole uh, seat and you can see that the embossed map on the really durable seat it's really decent it's not going to mark your pole and there's there's that unique slanted forward seat which i said on the other one is super comfy with a gel and onto the back again it's embossed with that map as you can see just coming into focus and um, we've got really nice mud feet again uh, with what was like i was saying before extendable legs and a nice strap there you can see on the floor now what I would say is that when you're using uh, this one, if you're wanting something that's a bit more commercially uh, stable in regards to bigger legs and things like that, they're gonna the XR Pro is a longer leg and, and obviously a bit more stable. If you're not if you're not needing it to be uh, too deep and you're just on a little platform, then these legs will be absolutely fine to do whatever you need. But just bear in mind that if you are super tall, they're not super super long legs. Um, let's open the drawer. So again. It's got a thin drawer and a deep drawer, just as we had on the other one. And uh, you can see, again, from the back, it's got a lovely little platform. So let's get back on and finish it off. So what do we think? It is a great little box. Um, I think fans of the original will really like it. And um, the question is, do I feel like you're upgrading um, if you've got the original? Yeah, I, th I feel it's a little bit, a bit lighter. Obviously, it's a newer design. Um, you know, it's it's a newer foot plate. The the, fr the frame will be f very similar. And um, the storage is good. Um, it's obviously water watertight now uh, with the things on it. Um, I think it's it's completely up to you. And I think if you sold your other box, you're probably going to get a couple of hundred, maybe 250 quid if it's in decent condition. You're only putting 150, 60 quid into it. Then it sometimes it is worth a little upgrade. Um, and it does look a really smart box um, and certainly more than stable enough to, to fit my weight <laughs> on it. So I'm sure it'll last for for, for anybody that, that wants to sit on it. Like I say, it, it is the seats are slightly narrower. So I will say that if, if you're sat on an XR Pro, which I'm using as a reference, because obviously that's what I've just had, um, or some other boxes, it is a wider seat. So if you've got a big tush, um, you might struggle a little bit. Um, I'm sort of just in the line of it comfortably um, in this one. Um, the other one's a little bit slightly wider on the on the uh, the 36 with it being a, a wider platform. But I think most people get all right. But that's something to take into consideration. So yeah, really decent little a little bit of kit. And this is what I was trying to say uh, when I review some of the other boxes and. I know um, with the Maeve one we didn't necessarily get on with it, but w when you see how this is put together in comparative, this is what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, you've got things like this. Yes, the, the, the Maeve maybe have a little bit more storage space, but when it comes to build quality and what you can get, this is where you need to start having a real side-by-side -side comparison instead of internet buying, if you can if you can do it, that is. And that's, again, why we do these videos, to try and give you that, that, that decision. So if you want to join us on the playlist, have a look at any other things that we've got on on there or if you'd just like to jump on uh, and just see 
feature videos or any of places that we've been fishing and uh, then jump on there there's also um a match series is on there i've started to fish a lot more matches and there's gonna be a winter league vlogs on there as well so do keep your eyes out for that if you want to join us on the facebook group at angling for you and that's brilliant and the fantastic members on there nearly eight thousand people on there and it's just it's a no nonsense group it's it's family orientated no banter no questions a silly question and lots of support on there and if you want to join us just for photos on instagram angling underscore for you then do so and there's uh, again our journey of what, what's going on at the moment and if you'd like share and subscribe that'd be fantastic and until the next one guys thank you very much for watching tight lines.